Calvary greetings, viewers, partners and followers of Divine Kingdom TV and Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries. The following is a testimony of Sister Edna who received prayers from the Servant of God, Dr. Ian Blobu. To the glory of God, Sister Edna has come to testify of the goodness of God in her life. The following is her testimony. So basically my testimony is, um, you know when um, the Reverend here was speaking about locusts not eating grass, but eating thyme, and the poster of being a poster of devastation. It is my mind was just like, oh God, there, there goes me, yeah, there goes me. If I tell you my qualifications and my career, there's huge disparity. The man of God knows about it because I've been with him like five years now. So yeah, and I was in Bulawayo in, in November, as you guys, I think I've said this before in this church. But since the year started, God has been opening paths for me. In fact, I was, I was, I was uh, communicating with Pastor Ambusi and saying, yeah, God is now opening paths. So, you know, I can, I can do a bit, little bit of this and that as the Lord leads. So um, I know the Reverend was making a joke about uh, climate change. <laughs> I'm an environmentalist. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm an environmentalist. So as much as um, my, my own view as a Christian environmentalist is that, um, you know, God gave us dominion, but he did not tell us to abuse nature. So because we're abusing nature, we're suffering all these consequences. Of course, I mean, there are signs as well. We, we have to take that as a point. But, you know, we're saying, you know, because we're also abusing nature, then we're suffering all these consequences. So anyway, so um, I applied about two weeks ago. I've, I've, I've been to many countries. I've studied to many, many countries out there. I don't want to get into that. But I applied for a visa to China about, about 10 days. The first time I went, they even chased me away. They just said, just go. And I'm like, how? I, I've gone to greater countries. You know, they don't send me away like this. You know, they're like, you don't have this, you don't have this. Go. And I'm like, what? I said, no, 90% of the people come here, we chase them away, you know. I said, ah, oh, okay, I'm not giving up. In meanwhile, my appointment had been 30th August for a meeting that's starting on 3rd September. I said, there's no way I'm going to wait for 30th August. So I just got in, I just went to Chancery, I just went there. I'm like, you, 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 you better look with your appointment, it's not today. I said, I don't care, it's not today, but, you know, my meeting starts on 3rd, so I can't wait. So anyhow, uh, I went, put my papers back in order and went back on the following Tuesday. Managed to give me an appointment for the following Tuesday. So, um, so basically, um, when my, my, uh, my uh, visa application was being processed, s someone from Sijui, the Chinese Embassy of Foreign Affairs, had to give me a barcode and go into the system and basically approve me. And I was just like, ha, huh, this is not looking likely. This meeting is not looking likely. Anyhow, I just got my passport back on Thursday. I'm off to China. <laughs> I'm off to China on next. Actually, I'll not be here for the next two weeks, next two Sundays, because I leave on Saturday. Yeah, we're working on the Global Environment Outlook Report. Um, uh, so basically, I'm like the point, one of the two point men for Af the African section, where we're, you know, we're basically saying we need to. We need to redeem Africa's environment, you know, uh, because in the environment is, 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 the, is the richest God has given us. So, yeah, so I live for China um, uh, for, for, for about a little over a week. So I'm going to miss two Sundays. So if you don't see me, don't get so surprised. And, and, then, and, and then I'll be back. But I thank God who has made it possible. But for me, it's more of a sign, more than just going to China. I've never been to China. I've gone as far as Thailand. So it's, it's going to be a fast for me. But for me, more than all that is a sign that, you know, God is beginning to realign my life, you know, in the way that he's promised and spoke through the servant of God. Yeah. Thank you. And, and God bless you. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Yes. I hope no one else is sitting on their testimony. Come and fellowship with us at the Divine Kingdom Worship Center. Number 17, Josiah Chinamano Avenue and Bristol North Road. First floor, Belmont, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. You must be fruitful and you must multiply. That's what he is telling you. 
That's why we were confessing at the beginning that we won't leave this place fruitless. And we declare that everyone here and also that side, even those who are following online, everyone without exception will be fruitful. Say, I refuse to be fruitless.